A nation that destroys its soil destroys itself. Forests are the lungs of our land, purifying the air and giving fresh strength to our people. A greetings of good day. First of all, I would like to thank our research instructor, Ms. Jessie Arceo, for the continuous guidance and support of our research study. And most importantly, our extended gratitude to our panelists, Dr. Baguio and Mr. Gornes, for accepting our invitation. I am Kisha D. Padua, leader of Group 5. Today, we the researchers will be presenting to you our research proposal. The video presentation will highlight the introduction, statement of the problem, theoretical background, related literature, research methodology, and lastly, the research instruments. Before we proceed, I would just like to introduce to you other research members who are responsible for this study. My group mates Jeanette Afan, Mary Lauren Serrano, Robic Swellan, and last but not the least, Prince Tangkalagan. Our research is entitled, A Study on the Use of Disregarded Malungay Bark as a Handmade Paper. Without further ado, let's have Mr. Tangkalagan to present to you our introduction. Once again, my name is Prince Tangalagan and I will be talking about the background of the study. So first of all, what is Malungay? Malungay in English is Moringa Olifuera. This plant is famous in every part of the Philippines. It is also called as a tree of life. This plant is simple to grow and it can grow mostly everywhere. The main idea of this topic is for us to find alternative ways to produce paper without compromising our nature. Since the demand of paper have risen over time, Deforestation among trees such as the balsam fir, western hemlock, eastern white pine, and others have caused the destruction of forests and its wildlife. Furthermore, we would also like to determine environmental aspects during this study and aim to provide alternative sources for paper productions. In order to reduce the cutting of trees as a way of helping in terms of forest conservation, for the future, to have more sustainable and environmentally friendly responsible approach in the paper production. For the next part, we will have Ms. Serrano to present our statement of the problem. The study aims to answer the following problems. Firstly, how to produce a handmade paper using malungay barks. Secondly, how does recycling malungay barks affects the following, economy, environment, and practicality. Thirdly, when using malungay bark as an alternative source of a handmade paper, what are its pros as well as its cons? And lastly, how do the different materials that will be using in making the handmade papers affects the paper in terms of its quality, texture, color, weight, tearing capacity, and writing capacity or the blot test. For the next slide, we will have Mr. Tangkalagan as our presenter for our theoretical background. This section presents two theories, namely sustainability theory and environmentally responsible behavior theory. This supports our intention for this research topic. The sustainability theory is the global scale attempt of humanity to reinforce innovative and eco-friendly ideas in the pursuit of improving and maintaining quality of life without compromising biodiversity, utilizing non-replenishable resources at the minimum. The catalyst for this movement is due to constant perils that human activities have brought upon nature. In correlation to our research, with the innate drive of humans to come up with more sustainable innovations, Malungay Bark paper can be a sustainable alternative to commercialized papers due to its holistic properties that are easier to grow and decompose. Second, the environmentally responsible behavior or the ERB theory. The environmentally responsible behavior theory was proposed by Heinz, Hungerford, and Tomera. The model argues that possessing an intention of acting is a major factor influencing ERB. It indicates that the following variables such as the intention to act, attitudes, sense of personal responsibility, knowledge suggests whether a person would adapt a behavior or not. In this sense, the researchers have intention to introduce an alternate resource in terms of paper production 
with the use of malunggay tree bark since they intend to act on the present state of our forest. For the next part, we will have Miss Padua to present a related literature. Here we have the review and written literature to support the study by facts. On the left side is the global scale usage of trees for paper production where according to Martin 2011, Suraj 2015, and Ecumelo 2016 that 35% of the world's trees are used for paper production, 42% of the wood harvested is used to make paper, and 95% of paper is made from wood while the remainder is made of fibrous materials. On the right side is the global scale users of papers where according to Dongter 2016, 82% of college students and 74% of high school students use paper tools like notepads or flashcards to prepare for tests rather than using laptops or smartphones. On the next slide, we will have Ms. Efan as our presenter for our research methodology. Next in the line is our research methodology. The researchers utilize the following. First, research design. This study is experimental in nature as it involves the introduction of a product which is paper. It utilizes a through experimental design since different tests and treatments were assigned in making a different setups. Second, research procedure. This study will be conducted at Padua Residence, located in Casa Mira, Lino, Cebu. For the last, we will have Mr. Swalan to present our research instrument. Finally, I will be presenting our research instruments. The instruments used in this research are the following. Malongai bark, mortal and pestle, hammer, caustic soda, chlorine, silk screen, tin or container, weighing scale, induction cooker, and lastly, old cooking pot. It's been an honor to be among such accomplished individuals and to be able to present our perspective before you all. Thank you and have a good day.